Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. The Lord is good. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Amen. I am enjoying our worship tonight. Amen. It is a good year. It's already good. It's already good. Amen. Uh, I tell you, um, I'm excited to be in the house of God. I was thanking the Lord this morning because I'm just glad to be in His presence. I'm really glad to be in the presence of God. I know what it is to not be there. I know what it is to be in church but not be in the presence of God. I know what it is to come up in church and not be in the presence of God. So it is not a thing that I take for granted. I thank God that he allows me to stand in his holy place. I just have to say that. I thank God for that. Thank you, Lord. And the awesome creator of the ends of the earth, who faileth not, neither does he grow weary. His understanding is unsearchable. He giveth power to the faith of those that have no might. He increased the strength. Even the youth shall be weary, and young men shall utterly fall. For they that wait on shall renew their strength. Now, I with wings like eagles, run and not be weary. I'm preaching to myself right now. Walk in God's faith. Amen. I praise the Lord for just being in the presence. Bow your head with me, Father. May the words of my mouth and the meditation of our hearts be found acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, our strength and our redeemer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Excuse my voice tonight. I, I've been, I'm just coming off of being under the weather for the last uh, week or so. I mean, I'm, I'm better. I've been better for the last five or six days, but my voice is still does what it does. But I don't care. You know, I, I, it is what it is. As long as y'all can understand me a little bit. Now, I'm going to tell y'all the deal. The deal was Pastor Eric set this up like I'm getting ready to preach this massive message. You know what I did. He said, I want you to talk, to come and talk for about 10 minutes. And then I'm going to talk for about 10 minutes. Now, that's what he said. So, all that other stuff, uh, we come back next time on that. But to God be the glory for the great things he has done. I want to tell you something. Um, we were su supposed to be talking today, and the Lord gave me something real good, and I'll tell you, it's for me. Um, and uh, we're talking today concerning Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, and that's what the Lord is. Amen. There is no searching of his understanding. Amen. And so the best way to understand God and what he has for you is to get in his presence and let him reveal himself to you as he will. Amen. What he wants you to know, he'll show you. What he doesn't want you to know, he'll hide from you. Isn't that right? Amen. So we're going to stop trying to figure out what God is trying to do and just let God be God. Let him arise and our enemies be scattered. Amen. And so with that being said, I thank God for Pastor Eric today and all that uh, he has been to us and to uh, our church. And we just thank God for him just being who he is. And also to this wonderful church. I'm really happy for y'all. I'm telling you, I'm just... Transformation when I come, I'm transformed even the more every time we step in the presence and we're in fellowship and worship with you. It is a blessing. Also, my good friend Bishop Coates is here tonight. Amen. 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 And it is just a pleasure to see you. I pray that all is well with you. I called you to get my message. Amen. Praise God. He said, Yes, I just ain't calling you back yet. <laughs> I heard you call. I heard you on. And so I thank God for you. I'll be here. To everybody that's here. Darren, man, you playing, dude. I'm telling you. Yeah. 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 See my brother here. God bless you. I don't know your name, but you got me. Hey, man, I was, I was a musician for 20 some years, and musicians uh, are. are well, let me just fix this thing before I say Musicians can be a trip. Y'all might as well say amen. amen. If you don't want to say it out loud, just shake your head. Amen. 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 Musicians can be something. And I thank God that God is taking us back to the humble musician. Amen. 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 To the musician 
that don't want to rob people. These are musicians that want to play because they love to play. You make a difference out of what you got. Amen. Praise God. I remember when our church first started paying me uh, to play, I was making fifty dollars a month, and I was just as happy. I was like, Lord. And, and I was just so so, and and it was it was just. It's, I'm just glad that God is taking us back to a place where we're supposed to be. Amen. Amen. Where we're supposed to be, and I thank God for that. So thank God for your spirit, my friend. I appreciate you greatly. And I want to say this, um, and then we'll, then I'll start. Uh, Pastor Eric and asked me to come and to talk uh, briefly concerning Alpha or the beginning. Uh, I won't I read the scripture because of that, our time, but you know what? Where the Bible says, I am Alpha, I am Omega, I'm the beginning, and I'm the end. And the Lord said something to me that I want to share with you tonight concerning the beginning. Understand this I don't want us to get so caught up on the finished product. Or get so caught up on the uh, results where we forget about the beginning. The Bible says, in the beginning was the word, the word was God, the word was with God. So nothing can start, I'm, I'm kind of paraphrasing here, I'm moving on fast here. Nothing can start except God started. Amen. The Bible says it this way, I believe in the book of Psalms, it says, except God build a house. They labor in vain that build it. Except God watch the city, the watchman waking, but in vain. So you can't do nothing unless God allows it to be so. Don't you know that we couldn't even sit in the way we did unless God let us do it? Y'all need to say amen for that. Every one of us in here have been in some crazy, stupid places. And if it was not for the grace of God, if it was not for the mercies of God, I ain't even talking about in church, I'm talking about out there, in the street, doing what we do. Now, I can remember there was a time where I was caught up in some garbage and I said, Lord, don't let me down here because my family don't even know what I'm doing. And if they caught me doing what they, what, 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 it's, I, I'd be too embarrassed. I wish I had time. I'd be too embarrassed to die. I'd be too embarrassed to die. But thank him for his grace and mercy. And the Bible says it's because of that grace and because of that mercy that we're not consumed. So you cannot forget your beginning. Look at somebody say your beginning. You got to start somewhere. Look at somebody say you got to start somewhere. Amen. You got to start somewhere. Even here tonight, there's some things in this building and these things are in us that, that we're uh, experienced today. And we want God to move in our lives and finish some things, but you won't get started. And the Lord said to me, he said, listen, my people are intimidated by starting. People get intimidated by starting because starting means I have to change. Starting means I can't do things that I've been doing, doing it my way. Starting means I have to do it the way God says do it. And I don't care what you say, how annoying you are, it can be intimidated to start. The Bible says that the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, but don't let nobody fool you. Sometimes those steps can be scary. Sometimes those can I hear Us to go. 